Did Jesus ever drink wine? Hey, smart Christian. I'm not one that really advocate drinking. As a matter of fact, I'm not a person who likes to drink. I've never really liked the taste of alcohol or, or anything like that. But I am one who advocates what the Bible says being spoken of accurately. And so there are people that would think that, well, the Bible doesn't say specifically that Jesus drank wine. Well, there is no passage in the Bible that says or tells us exactly when Jesus drank, but the Bible is also clear that Jesus did drink. Let me give you an example. First of all, before I go to the passage, we know that Jesus turned water into wine. We know that Paul tells uh, Timothy that some wine is good for the stomach. And so wine, drinking wine is not a sin. So before I go to what Jesus, what the Bible says about Jesus and wine, we know that it's not a sin. Jesus would not have turned water into wine uh, if that is an object of sin. But let's go and go to the passage. Let's go to Luke chapter seven, verse 33, starting there. It says, for John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine. This is Jesus speaking. And you say, speaking of these uh, religious folks, he has a demon. Now, Jesus is making it clear that he doesn't, he doesn't drink. He has, he has had no wine, but him drinking no wine, you say he has a demon. But then he says, the son of man, which is Jesus has come eating and drinking. And you say, look at him, a glutton and a drunkard. So Jesus is saying, you've seen me eating and drinking, but then you call me a glutton for eating when you see me eat, though I have not eaten uh, past my fill. And then you call me a drunkard because you've seen me drink. You're just looking for anything to say. But the point is, specifically to what we're talking about, that Jesus did drink out of his own words, out of, out of his own mouth. Jesus states that you've seen the son of man eating and drinking. Drinking what? Well, drinking, not drinking water. No one calls someone who drinks water a drunkard. And he's comparing the fact that John the Baptist did not drink wine. Also, another passage that lets us know that Jesus was drinking was this. In Matthew 26, so let's start in verse 27. And he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink of it, all of you. Obviously, this is wine, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. I tell you, I will not, and look what he says, I will not drink again. And the Greek word here is the Greek word for apartheid, which is just like it says in English, it means again. I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine, meaning that he has drank wine in the past, just like he stated in Luke 7.33. So guys, it's not a big deal, but some people get, get their feathers ruffled when you say that Jesus drank wine. Well, it's clear that he says he says so. He says he won't do it again until, meaning that he's done it before, and then he states himself that he came eating and drinking, and people called him a drunkard for doing so. So it's not a big issue, but just so that we can be you know, clear with the text, and say what it says. It's not a big deal. Even if you don't like drinking wine, it doesn't mean that it's a sin if someone else has done it. And it's certainly like not blasphemous, as some have stated, to say that Jesus drank wine, even though you'll find on YouTube there's some people who've stated that Jesus never drank wine. But we see clearly he did. So, my friends, I hope that that helps clear up any, any uh, uh, misconceptions or misunderstandings for anyone. Clearly, Jesus drank wine. It's not a sin. If you drink wine, it's not a sin, although we don't do so to get drunk. Amen.